<laughs> All right, we'll let you guys handle that. Looks like a lot going on outside. Okay. Well, moving on, according to a University of Missouri study, kids returning to school after a long summer vacation can lose up to three months worth of learning. It's called the summer brain drain. And that's why you might want to consider a summer learning program for your child to help keep their skills sharp. Joining us now is Chris Rossi. She's from Lower School and Summer Learning. She's the Lower School and Summer Learning Director at Chesapeake Bay Academy, and she's here to tell us more about how their program is educational and fun. So this is a great program for the summer and we talk Absolutely. about keeping their skills sharp. Yes. Uh, you're, you're not talking about introducing something that the children have never seen before. Mm -hmm. You're talking about just maintaining what they've already learned during the course of that school year so that for the fall they're not walking in and feeling sort of, I don't remember how to do this. A lot of children get anxious when they're starting back to school because they're worried that they won't remember how to do something. Is it a good idea for parents, even in the summertime, to set aside a block of time every day to kind of keep up that routine of mm -hmm. schoolwork? Um, it depends upon the child. Some mm -hmm. children love to sit at the kitchen table and do a workbook page or mm -hmm. a couple of them for 30 minutes while mom's oh, that's making great. dinner. <laughs> yeah, some, that would not be me. Um, but with others, um, being a little more subtle might be a little bit more effective. Mm -hmm. um, if you're at the beach and you're collecting shells and let's let's put them into categories and mm -hmm. let's put, you know, make a graph on the sand and start categorizing and, and talking about data and counting and adding and subtracting. There are all kinds of things you can do as a parent that are kind of on the on the QT that that keep your children's skills sharp but they just don't really realize that they're doing math or they're reading and mm -hmm. um, but it keeps them busy and it keeps their minds active right so it sounds like even if you're on vacation you can find an opportunity Absolutely. to uh, you know teach them something new or show them something new and, and that makes it fun it does um, with my own children when we used to travel we'd hand out the brochures from various you know attractions mm -hmm. and they'd all have to kind of report to the family what they thought would be the most fun thing thing about that particular attraction which of course meant that they had to read through the brochure and had to pull out the main points and present it to the group and then we'd have these kind of debates about what would be best. Um, we'd play games in the car you know about what color of cars and well how many more of these do you have than I have and so it, it's it's part of what you do naturally when you're on vacation it's just a matter of adding a few extra questions to it that actually make it educational. Right and you keep up the conversation with the Absolutely. kids. Absolutely. Now are there are summer programs and camps that focus on academic skills that you guys offer. There are, absolutely. Uh, we have a program called just the Summer Learning Program at mm -hmm. Chesapeake Bay Academy. Um, our morning is academic. We call it the Academic AM. Uh, we do reading, we do math, we do science. Uh, and then in the afternoon, it's computers, it's art, it's outside play, it's all of that kind of thing. Even though with the computers, we're integrating the science projects that they're working on in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, today, they're doing all kinds of Fourth of July kinds of things okay. while researching the Fourth of July. So, But it's all fun. Yeah, that sounds like it's really important because you want to avoid that summer brain drain. Keep Absolutely. it interesting, keep it fun, but keep it educational. Absolutely. If you want some more information about summer learning at Chesapeake Bay Academy, the second session is starting up July 14th. It runs through August 1st. They have half and full day options. It's open to children entering kindergarten through the seventh grade, and mornings include reading, math, and science, while the afternoons provide fun time for PE, art, and technology. You can register online at cba-va.org slash summer learning or contact Dana Bender. She's the director of enrollment. At, her email is dbender at cba-va.org or call them at 497-6200. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you.